Hey, I'm Bryony from Accelerate Auto Electrics. We're just going to take you on a bit of a tour of our Jayco Outback Swan and show you how we've got all of our power set up to stay off the grid um, and we're not reliant on caravan parks or power supply when we're camping. Come inside. So under this seat over here, we've got 225 amp hour batteries and a Red Arc battery management system. We've got the 1230 model. The Red Arc BMS has got the solar, the 240 volt, and also the Anderson plug from the car all feeding into it and charges the batteries from whichever option you've got plugged in. The Red Arc BMS system eliminates the need to have a 240 volt charger, a BCDC, and a solar regulator. This display unit here shows you how much charge you've got left in your batteries, what input your solar is putting into the batteries and also your usage. So what sort of percentage you've got left and how much you're currently using. So you can switch between different lights and see what each light draws from your batteries while in use. Under the seat that I'm sitting on, we've got a 2,500 watt inverter um, that allows us to run our power points and also our microwave. So we can plug anything into them and charge them, whether it be your iPhone. We've got a espresso pod coffee machine in here um, and I have even been known to take my hair straightener with me on the road. We've done a few upgrades as well. We've also got a few um, USB points all over the camper so we can plug any USB cords in there to charge. Uh, we have on the sink put a pump in so it runs off the power rather than using the hand pump to get all your water up and out the spout we just flick a switch and we've got water as well okay. we've also converted all of our lights in the caravan um, to leds so they use dramatically less power than the standard bulbs that they come with for the outside of the caravan we've also converted our light to led we can put as many of these units in as you want they're about 40 dollars for um, the actual unit with led bulbs in there and we also fixed our annex some strip led strip lighting as well we've got three cables that we connect up before we go the first is your standard 12 pin plug this works all your indicators and brake lights in the caravan from the car um, it also runs the fridge while you're driving we have then got an Anderson plug. Now this allows the car to charge the batteries in the caravan while driving. Um, and we've also got a um, Polaris InDash multimedia center that's got some um, reverse cameras attached to it. So we've got a little reverse camera down here and we've also got one on the back of the caravan so it allows us to see either the caravan when you're hooking up or behind the caravan when you're driving, which is great for overtaking. So we've got the Wazza cable here that connects into the car as well. With this current setup, we can stay off the grid without connecting up and charging our batteries for about a week. We've also got a fixed solar panel on the roof, so that way when the sun is shining, we can completely charge our batteries and stay off the grid for as long as we want to. Um, for any more tips and tricks on camping and how to pimp out your caravan or four-wheel drive to get on the road, check out some of our other videos.